It's time to steal Sandy Claws. Kidnap Mr. Sandy Claws? What's going on everybody? I'm Dylan from Quest for Nostalgia where I teach how I do all my 3D printed props and cosplays and things like that. This video is brought to you by viewers like you. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things. And if you want to support the channel in crazy builds like this, support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash quest for nostalgia. Now let's get into how I made these three awesome masks. These files are awesome. They're by Nico Industries. You can go over to things.com and look through his membership there until he gets his site up and running. I grabbed my favorite PLA Overture and I printed these with almost no supports vertically. They came out absolutely awesome. Now it's time to get these things wicked smooth. As always, I start with 80 grit sandpaper. Since these are pretty flat, I could use a detail sander for a lot of it, and then I can also use my sponge wrapped with 80 grit to get into those nooks and crannies. Then I did a thin coat of spot putty and acetone, whether you use Bondo or u pull, just get a spot putty, thin it one-to-one -one with acetone, and paint that over with an old brush. With all three lightly coated, it was then time for 120 grit. Again, did a little bit of a detail sander and a little bit of sponge sanding. With that step done, it's into filler primer. Use whichever one you like. You could use Raptor, you could use Rust-Oleum, you could use U-Pull or anything like that. Just grab a filler primer and go at it. After the filler primer, I have a bucket set up in my garage where I'd like to do all my wet sanding. I did 220 grit, 320 grit, and then 400 grit. It gets these prints really nice and smooth and ready for their first steps of paint. Then I went ahead and used a flat gray primer by Rust-Oleum to give it all base layer. Now it's time to give them their actual colors. I found a perfect mint green by Rust-Oleum for the witch mask. I used a high gloss red for the devil mask, which I would have rather used a flat and you'll see I fixed that later on. And then a flat white just for the skeleton mask. The colors end up looking perfect for lock, shock and barrel. This project has a lot of hand painting, but it's very easy and it can be messy because that's how it's supposed to look. For the devil mask and the skeleton mask, I started by painting the mouth black, lining that out. I just used an acrylic water-based paint. You can use Crate and Barrel by Walmart or I used Vallejo model paint. You can be kind of neat here, and then we're gonna use a technique called dry brushing to kind of give it that smoky, almost airbrush look around the edge of the mouth. I also did that as a shadow around the eyes of the skeleton mask. For dry brushing, I use a makeup brush that I got from the dollar store. I get most of the paint off of it. You'll see my hand is always covered in paint because I'm wiping off most of it there and then kind of just feathering it over the edges. The witch mask was super easy. All I did was use a kind of bluish green color to go over that mint. I painted a thicker line in the cracks underneath the eyes and around the mouth, and then again dry brushed to give it that kind of almost airbrushed look around the mouth and underneath the eyes. For the skeleton mask, I used a bone color to be able to bring those teeth back out. They're a little bit more yellowy, not white like the regular mask. And then for the devil mask, I used a flat gray. Really super easy and a great way to get into hand painting. And the last step was just spray them with a matte clear coat that helped dull the high gloss red and just give everything a little bit of protection. With all that done, all I did was take some ribbon that I got from Walmart and super glued that in there. It makes it super easy to put these things on. What do you guys think? I love how these things came out. I'm a huge Tim Burton fan. I love everything that where Danny Elfman is doing the music. So these ones were a really fun project to do. Let me know what's your favorite Tim Burton movie down below. Is it Batman? Is it Nightmare Before Christmas? Paranorman, Coraline? Just let me know in the comments. As always, I really appreciate you guys sticking to the end. Check another video out after this, it really helps. Love you guys, peace.